Hello guys, you are welcome to Evil Hashtag and today we are going to be looking at tips for Tesla Security Pro certification. So without further ado, let's dive into this. Depends on how you log in to LabSync, you can use, you can either use your school website or you are going to use uh, Tesla website Tesla.com. Uh, but let's say you going if you are using your school, you click on the link and take you to Tesla Lab, and you're gonna click on Start. And if you're going through Test Out Labs uh, Tesla.com, set login, input your password, then you're gonna log in. Then go to assessments, you're gonna see exactly like this, which I did. Test our security pro, test out pro certification exam. So you're gonna click on start. But before we start, before we go into that, so let's read out what it says. This exam tests your ability to perform reward tasks using cyber security tools to analyze and detect cyber threats as an entry level IT security professional. So I don't really respect. So he said um, this is an test your ability to perform real world tasks using an using ads implementing layout tasks such as implementing layout security through group policy objects, access control list, wireless and wire local area network security measures, and workstation and mobile device security measures. It is a performance-based exam that tests what you can do, not just what you have memorized. This exam covers content that is taught in the Tesla Security Pro course. Students should have completed this exam or its equivalent before attempting the exam which is true if you just want to buy the exam voucher and you don't um and you didn't attempt any of the uh, lab scene like probably when i did a uh, test test out pc pro and i didn't take a uh, test out security pro uh it's when i went to this was pretty difficult though like i had to start learning this so um just a normal rule of thumb before you take the exam, any of the exams, security networking, PC Pro, make sure you got a good understanding of the lab. Even at that, it's gonna be difficult for you. Uh, so they're gonna give instruction which I'll run into, so I won't go more into this. But let me read the first line. You will be presented with a series of performance-based questions. Each question presents a scenario and a set of tags. So they're gonna set bring give you um 13 questions listen i said questions though but in total it's gonna be like mm, 25 27 28 labs so you're gonna they missed up so you're gonna see a lot of it so you shouldn't expect that so don't just take uh, 13 questions now i know um out in this uh, page you're gonna see what i mean so when you are finish, when you finish all tests, please call lab. So let me read this. Important: the exam may be attempted only per voucher. If you do not pass the exam, you're gonna pass. Don't panic about that. Don't worry. You may purchase a retake exam voucher online. The voucher is on um, test nine, that's nine, but you're gonna pass. So don't worry about that. Do not click on. Do not click start exam until you are ready to complete the certification exam. Yeah, just um, don't be in a hurry. Um, it may take you, I think it took me uh, one hour, 20 minutes or so. It may take you longer than that. And uh, don't like, don't plan ahead, just chill and take the exam and it's gonna be done. Focus on passing it. You're gonna be okay. So, 
and let me say if maybe you're having difficulty with the exam probably already said the exam you're having difficulty you need my help just reach out to me send me a message and um my email my email is here and um, my email will be on the description below and also subscribe part of this video so you're gonna you're not going to see a dot theory tesla security pro exam practice exam but you're gonna see uh maybe uh tesla security pro depending on when you're taking this um when you're watching this video i made the video um august 12 2024 so things may have changed though so you're gonna see uh, question 11 of uh 13 but right now this is part exam question 11 of 15 but you can see question 1 of 13 question 2 of 13 question 13 of 13 you understand why i mean like all subsequent test exam certification exam you can go back once you start once you click on next you can go back to one again once you click on next or three you can go back to two or one and one other thing once you click on launch live and it takes you so um a new tab you start live don't click on scroll live until you are done with all questions put that in mind folks until you are done with all questions once you click on scroll live and you score the live you can go back to do it so that should be very very important to you you can go back so click on next once you are done with question 13 of 13 it's going to take you here and click on next it's going to tell you exam end you have reached the end of this exam score lab when you click on score lab it's going to show you your score so um the minimum score is um 1400 the maximum is um 2000 so um like this test uh this exam is called um 1880 so which is pretty good and um i would have loved to score 2000 though but wow. um i think probably i didn't i did all lives to be frank probably i missed some stuff because you maybe do something different and you don't get it for school but um it's cool so in this exam i think it does vary though in this exam they check they test they tested me i'm sorry on um identity management and authentication physical and network security host and application defense data security audits and security assessment so uh, i saw 18 uh, 1880 so i screwed down and check uh, probably why i got it wrong and uh, on identity management and education i go 100 percent on fiscal and network security, I um I scored hundred percent. On host and application defense, I scored eighty eight. On data security, I scored hundred percent. On audit security assessment, I scored seventy eight. That's um I maybe I have to go back and save myself and uh, save myself. Maybe we work on other life, work on more lives to be better on life. Uh, audit and security and host and application defense but um this um 1880 out of one uh 1880 and the minimum was 14 uh 1400 so i cannot pay the minimum with the bad 480 so um um about um 380 or 480 so um pretty good to me though so one once you click on uh, the x button here it's going to take you to this test that security pro is going to tell you calculation you have passed so you can you can click on view reports it's going to show you this maybe the score you did the score you got and what you did probably what you did do well or what you didn't do where you did well it's going to show you that when you click on download print or share it's going to show you this so when you click on share, it's gonna bring show you where you can put an email, and as uh, maybe you want to send to HRO, send to your boss, send to your dad, send to your mom, send to your sibling, your maybe your friend. Click on share. Uh, if you click on certificate, it's gonna show you you have to print the certificate or you have to download the certificate. 
so um i'm gonna show you um this certificate in a minute so other certif other certificates when you click on that it's gonna tell you if you had if uh, probably like me if i click on that it's gonna show me other certificates i got like um tesla pc pro and tesla network pro it's gonna show me that but when you click on that if you go other certificate it's gonna show you that as well and if you don't have any other certificates it's gonna show you another so it's gonna tell you um tesla pc pro this tesla security pro blah blah uh, skis identity management and notification fiscal network security like that will just skill way the writing and way got it so um let's see the actual certificate so this is the actual certificate test out security pro so my name is the mafanagba certified security pro 100 percent performance base so the certification date it's august 8 12 2024 learners id certificate id you're gonna use this learners id and certificate id to verify your certificate or your employer is gonna use it or hr is gonna use it so when you put it there they may ask you um your um, let me um verify you got this certificate so they do verify so if you want to verify or if they want to verify they go to um comtia.com uh testout.com when you go to the website you scroll down to the bottom and you click on you're gonna see courses certifications resources support on a verif certification you're gonna click on verification and it's gonna take you to this page so certificate id required so you're gonna input the certificate id here that's 616 so you're gonna put it there and click the search button and it take you down here so verification so um did <coughs> the dates i was issued issued on 8 uh, august 11 2024 issued by testat issued to my friend by your name may be uh angela anthony lena's id certificate id and the best part never expire verify so thanks for watching guys i do really appreciate each and every one of you i'm trying to improve on my um concerns and um to be able to avoid um uh comptia uh strike they gave me a lot of strike though i think they gave me about 22 strikes and then like my account was my account was gone had to make sure right there man it took me 45 days for them to be able to retract it uh so i'm trying to um follow the uh, doctrine of fair use i don't want to really help out in this though but sometimes they give me a lot of strike and i open other channels and they give me strikes too so i need to work on my videos and see how they can better i can maybe i'm working on them working on more videos and so probably before the end of the week you're gonna see a lot of videos i put on when you're watching it so if you watch my channel right now you need help maybe you taking the exam just write me i will leave my channel i'll leave my email down in the description and now uh, you see my email in this video probably two times so thanks for watching guys i do appreciate it. bye for now